Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for today's video. We are going to be trying on a bunch of new drugstore makeup, new launches for the new year. I found a lot of this stuff at Ulta, a lot of this stuff is in stores already, tons online and still coming into most stores, but I found Ulta to have the most stuff so far, but I'm sure the other stores will be catching up like Target and Walmart. I know Target and Walmart are usually a little bit cheaper in pricing if you guys want to wait but yeah we're going to be doing literally a full face i think i have almost everything to try out today i know you guys were waiting on this one so let's go ahead and get started starting with primer i am going to use the new elf power grip primer with four percent niacinamide as far as i understand this is supposed to perform the same as power grip which is one of my faves but it has the niacinamide to help kind of add some skincare in there help brighten things over time so I'm all about some added benefits. I'm gonna do about a full pump and then I like to just rub it between my fingers and then press it in to the skin I'm mostly focusing on my t-zone. It does feel tacky like the original. But yeah, I like to rub it all in and then what you're gonna do is kind of tap it to get that stickiness going. And that's gonna really grip onto your foundation. For some reason, it doesn't feel to me as sticky maybe as the other one, but I also have some skincare prep, so that could be it. But I don't know, it doesn't seem to be quite as tacky maybe. So as that's setting down, let's talk about the foundation we're gonna be using today. I've heard some buzz about this one. It's the new NYX Bear With Me Blur. Blurring Tint Foundation. I have the shade Light Neutral. This has medium coverage and it's supposed to give a matte blurred finish. So let's go ahead and try this on. I am gonna use a brush just because that's what I typically do with my foundations. And I'll use about this much product, which is quite a bit, but I do use a lot of product. I do like more of a full coverage. So I'm trying to evenly distribute this across the skin and we will just blend out. Now there has been a couple other things in the Bear With Me line, like the popular concealer. They had a Bear With Me skin tint that I hated when skin tints first got really popular because it had like zero coverage. This definitely has more coverage than that. It actually feels very lightweight on the skin. And it's not fully matte right away. It has a little bit of a natural finish for sure. I don't know if it looks super flattering right away on the skin. Um, it says it's supposed to be blurring. I'm not noticing a ton of blur off the bat. It just has some weird, almost to me, luminous spots that are enhancing some texture I have, like especially in my cheeks. And it's clinging very weird to my skin. So I don't know how I feel. I like that it's pretty weightless, but I don't know if it looks so great right off the bat. Let's move on to the next step and we'll kind of determine how the foundation sits when we add more products on, but I'm gonna skip over to the eyes real quick. So I am priming my eyes. I did use a Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so I guess that's not really a drugstore primer, but I don't really have a new one to test out, but I do have some new eyeshadow. And we're gonna be trying out this new CoverGirl quad from their Clean Color line. And this is a really fun smoky quad. Now, when I swatched these, they actually swatched pretty good. So I have some high hopes for these. I think they're gonna be really pretty on the eyes. Let's see how they blend. So this palette actually doesn't have like a matte crease color to use, so I'm actually gonna dive into this one, which is just the Caramel Toffee palette, and I'm gonna take this brown in the crease. There was just a bit of fallout, so I just kinda tap that off the brush, and I'm using a small tapered brush to really get in there. It looks like it does have some good pigmentation here. Moving over to this eye. Back into the smoky palette, we're gonna use the matte black in here. And we're gonna put this in the outer corner. This does have some glitter in it. So I just did like one little dip in and I'm just kind of trying to see how much I can kind of blend out with that. I would say the blending for the black is a little bit difficult. I feel like it's, once I place it down, it's kind of hard to maneuver, but it just takes a little bit more effort than usual. Back into the toffee palette, I'm gonna take this dark brown in the lower lash line. 
For some reason, this eye is just not blending very seamlessly. This one, I feel like looks okay. There is some patchy spots though, for sure, where the shadow is. Okay, let's try out the shimmers. I'm gonna go with this bronze shade. I'm just gonna use my pointer finger here and maybe just smudge this across the lid and see how that goes on. So that's more of like a fun bronze, smoky color. It's not super metallic, I feel like, as I swatched it. But I'm going to put a lighter shade on top, but it is a pretty bronze. Okay, and then I'm going to take this more champagne bronze more in the inner portion. This one's definitely adding a little bit more shine since it is lighter in tone. I'm just kind of blending those together. And then I'll take any leftover product that was on my crease brush and blend the mattes and shimmers. Okay, so that's kind of our eye look. We will definitely clean this up with concealer next. As far as the palettes go, I think these are definitely better. Drugstore palettes better than CoverGirl has definitely had in the past. If you want some more shine, the mattes are definitely pigmented, that's for sure. Just a little bit of blending issues with the black, but overall, the quality is pretty decent with these. I would say, though, um, I would still maybe go for a color pop over this CoverGirl palette, um, like the That's Taupe or the Stone Cold Fox, but this is definitely a step up for those mainstream drugstore brands that you can find at like Walmart, Target. So I think they definitely have improved their shadows. Okay, for concealer, let's try out for concealer, we're going to try out this one from Makeup Revolution. This is the IRL filter finish, so kind of an in real life filter concealer. This is an extension of their line. They did come out with the IRL foundation last year. I did not try that one, but I did want to go ahead and try the concealer. I picked out the shade C1. It says it's a soft matte, oil-free, 16-hour wear, breathable concealer. Ooh, I like the applicator. It's actually very curved, so it actually should apply easily. Ooh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty pigmented, too. Definitely has some coverage. I'm gonna cover up this middle spot. I don't know why, my the in-between my brows is just so dry lately. It's definitely a very full coverage. Concealer, in my opinion. I don't like my concealers to be too hydrating, but also, like, not too dry. I like them pretty in-between. And this seems like it's doing a decent job. So yeah, it looks good. It might be a little bit too drying for some if you have a lot of lines, but I personally think it looks nice under the eyes so far. We'll see how it wears. I am just filling my brows in real quick and I do have a new brow wax to try. But yeah, I am just kind of filling them in with this Give Brow Pencil. It's been kind of my go-to. All right, for the new product, I'm using this Milani. It's called the Stay Put Liquid Brow Wax. So it's a long wear brow lock. I'm going to see if we can kind of feather the brows with this. So we're just going to kind of swipe the brows up here. And this is a clear product. So it looks like it leaves a little bit of residue, but it blends right out. I'm not noticing a ton of lamination though from this. So we'll see how it dries down, but I don't think it's doing a ton right now for hold. It just doesn't have as much grip as a lot of the other brow waxes that I've tried. So I'm kind of going in with another coat to see if that helps. And maybe it's just really liquidy at first and maybe it'll dry down a bit. So now that it's in, let me see if it dries down. In the meantime, let's try this new Milani mascara. I have been dying to try this. So I'm a huge fan of the Milani Highly Rated Mascara and they just came out with this new Lash Extensions one, which is supposed to be similar to the Thrive tubing mascara. So this is also a tubing formula which tubing formulas are nice because they will not smudge. They create a tube around your lash, so they can be a little bit more difficult to get off, but they're supposed to slide right off with water. But yeah, they don't really smudge flakes, so they're really nice to use. Let's see here. The, the wand looks pretty similar to the highly rated. Let's go ahead and apply this to the eyes. It is starting to clump a bit, but I just keep kind of brushing it out to get those clumps away. 
so far I actually feel like it does look really good and I feel like it's really lengthening. I don't notice a ton of volume though. So yeah, this, this mascara, it does clump up real quick. Just keep that in mind because this side got really spidery looking, but... We'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, for bronzer, I did pick up the new e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer. Now, I actually have not tried the original putty bronzer. I feel like I've heard very mixed opinions, but I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to go. Typically, I don't like a lot of luminous products, so we'll see. I got the shade Day Trip. So dipping into the e.l.f. here, I'm just going to use my BK Beauty 106 brush. And we'll go ahead and apply this on the cheekbones. I was kind of wondering, like, since e.l.f. tries to dupe everyone, who they were duping with this. I was like, maybe the Tower 28, but the Tower 28s are a lot more metallic than this. This really is not ultra luminous to me, which is a good thing because I don't really want... A metallic bronzer again I haven't tried the original and I don't know it seems to be applying okay I do notice a little bit of a sheen to the face but it's just very subtle I'm actually kind of surprised I feel like I am getting some pigment I really thought that these would not show up very well compared to the blushes I've tried. They run pretty light. This seems to be pretty decent to me. Okay, for blush, I had to try this. This isn't super new, but it's new to me. This is by Hard Candy. It's called their Selfie Cheek Tint, I believe, and it looks clear, but it's supposed to go on and turn into a really pretty pink color, so I thought we would try this out today. So I think for this one, I'm going to use it with my finger now I'm hoping this isn't, okay, it's really liquidy. I was hoping it wouldn't be sticky because it looks like a lip gloss, but it is very liquidy. I am just going to apply this right to the cheekbones here. Oh, it turns pink like right away once it touches the skin. This color, I don't know if I love it. It is very pink, but it's kind of glossy. It honestly might be too shiny for my preferences, so oof. Yeah. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just kind of mix that on top because I'm gonna have to set this down. It's too shiny for me. But I thought it was cool how it worked. Like it turned pink right away, but I just don't think I'm gonna like the finish. Now we can finish up with lips. I'm gonna try and stay in the freaking frame for this because every time I do lips, I'm somehow always like out of frame and I never get it on camera. But I'm using, again, from Makeup Revolution, the IRL fil Filter Finish Lip Definer and the shade is Caramel Syrup. So these are brand new lip liners from them. They look like they're gonna be pretty creamy, so let's see. This is a really pink color. I was thinking it would be a little bit more brown. It's almost a little bit waxy feeling, which you guys know I don't really care for the creamy ones. I do like a little bit more tug, just because I feel like those last longer. And yeah, this feels like waxy when I'm rubbing my lips together. I'm going to let that sit for a minute just to see if it'll dry it down at all. And then for lipstick, I'm using one of the new e.l.f. ones. I'm really excited to try their new O Face Satin Lipsticks. I got the shade Dirty Talk. And you can find these. I saw them at Target and Ulta now. And I don't know if Elf is trying to dupe anyone with this certain formula, but the packaging and the name reminds me of NARS a little bit. So this reminds me of the NARS Audacious lipsticks that came out. It's been a minute, but those were really good lipsticks. Um, but yeah, it definitely, the packaging seems definitely upgraded for Elf. It even has a magnetic closure which they don't usually do a lot of their packaging is usually pretty cheap so this is definitely better and this shade looks really gorgeous so it also says elf down the side the nars also says nars down the side so maybe they're trying to dupe nars again all right this lipstick is still this lip liner is still a little bit slippery but we're gonna apply this anyway oh the lipstick matches really well with this lip liner though I honestly, I probably would compare it to NARS. It's super pigmented, nice satin finish. Overall, it's a nice lipstick. I think they did a good job on these. Okay, guys, so here is the finished look. It's looking a little bit luminous for me, even right after applying. I don't know if I love the base so far, so I'm really nervous to see how this is going to hold up. I am going to wear this 
about three to five hours probably today um, as I finish some stuff around the house. I gotta edit some stuff and get a video up for today. So I'm gonna work on that and I will come back and let you guys know how everything is holding up. But here is how we are looking so far. Okay guys, I am back. It has been about six hours now. I just threw my hair up in this little clip because I was making supper and cleaning the house a little bit. But let's go over these products. Here's how we are looking so far. So first of all, the primer. I would say this is pretty comparable to the older power grip primer um i did have some wearing of my foundation here so i don't know if that is the primer or the foundation so i don't know how gripping it is i know when i put it on it didn't seem as tacky as the original so i guess i will have to try this a couple more times and see and maybe try one on one side one on the other and then as far as the foundation goes the NYX, the NYX Bear With Me Blur, this is how it is looking right now. It actually, I will say, has not gotten greasy at all, which is pretty good. So it looks like this is a winner for oily skin, but I wouldn't say it's super long wearing because it is starting to break down already. Like I said, in this chin area, I don't know why that area is kind of breaking down. It's collecting a little bit on the sides of the nose, but other than that, it has honestly stayed pretty matte all day, so that is pretty impressive, but maybe I'm going to try it with a different primer and see if maybe I can get it to wear a little bit longer, but it honestly doesn't look too bad. I was a little bit worried at first, but once my natural oils come through, you don't really notice any dry or textured spots nearly as much, but... This is just kind of annoying right here. It's a little pink from where it wore off. The concealer, I'm actually quite shocked. I feel like it has held up pretty well. It does look, I would say, maybe a tiny bit dry under there. So if you really want a lot of moisture, maybe don't pick this one. But I don't think it's too bad. It kind of reminds me of like Tarte Shape Tape a little bit with the full coverage feel. And I think it has stayed on pretty well. None of my darkness has come through. And the lines, they're not too bad, honestly. Of course, any concealer is going to sink into lines, but I don't really notice them quite so much so I actually think this is doing a pretty decent job now for the eyeshadow I'm not sure I'm loving these covergirl quads I think it's definitely a step up from what they've had in the past but I do think there's better formulas on the market for that price point and especially this smoky quad it just wasn't my favorite I actually think I like the toffee one a little bit better this one's a lot more wearable while the smoky one I had to dip into two palettes to get the look since the only matte in here is this dark black which seemed to be a little bit patchy and then the metallics are just, I feel like they're not like super flattering on. They kind of <laughs> enhance every line or crease in the eye. So I'm not sure I'm quite in love with these. I would say instead of spending, I think these are $13 on these, just get one of the ColourPop palettes. These nine pans are more worth the money in my opinion. I just personally like ColourPop's formula a little bit more, so just kind of giving another option um, for something I think performs a little bit better for the money. But I mean, definitely an improvement from what I've seen over the past few years with drugstore eyeshadow. As far as the mascara goes, there is no flaking, no smudging at all today, so it has worn quite nicely. The only issue is that it can get a little bit clumpy, but I think it looks nice. I don't know if it beats the original highly rated though. I feel like that one's like my tip top favorite. Again, I kind of want to do one on one side, one on the other and see which one I like more, but I wouldn't say this is bad. I think it's worth checking out if you do have issues with smudging with your mascaras, but it does, it does look pretty good, I would say, on the eyes. The Milani Stay Put Liquid Brow Wax, this really didn't do much at all. It still feels sticky. I feel like it just did not set in place. I feel like they were kind of going for that brow laminated look, like a brow glue, but they just did not... <laughs> hit the mark for me. So I will have to say this one is a pass. I just didn't really think it did anything and my brows have pretty much fallen down all the way. It didn't even really stick them up at all. Um, so that one's going to be a fail. The e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer, honestly, this was not too bad. I'm actually quite impressed just because I feel like I heard kind of not so great things about the original, but I wouldn't say this is too luminous or anything like that. It has held up 
on the face. I think it's a decent cream bronzer. Not my tippy top favorite for drugstore. I definitely have some other ones that I like a little bit more like the Makeup Revolution one and the Soul Body. But I mean it's up there. It's pretty nice and it got the job done. You can still see it on. It did last throughout the day. So I would say this is a pretty good one. I'll have to again maybe try the original and see how that one compares. There's always some comparisons we can do. Now this hard candy little blush tint, this is a no for me. <laughs> it went on so glossy looking, but it wasn't like a gloss feel. It had a very liquidy texture, but I just did not love this one. It made my cheeks so shiny. It was not flattering. So while it's a cool concept, it's just not something I'm gonna be reaching for again, I don't think. The Revolution Lip Definers, these are a pass for me as well. I'm so picky with lip liners, and these are just too creamy. They were slippery throughout the day. I feel like they just did not set down, and I feel like you can't even tell that I put lip liner on anyway, so this is a pass. But the new e.l.f. lipsticks, I actually quite enjoy these. These are very creamy though, so I'm going to put a little bit on right now. They don't necessarily stay put very well, but they're a nice moisturizing formula, and I would would try more shades I think it's definitely the best lipsticks that they have come out with from elf so very exciting to see and I think that is everything that I tried out in this video I hope this was helpful I know these were just first impressions I feel like we definitely had a few fails today I feel like there's nothing that I tried that I'm just like obsessed in love with I feel like everything was it's okay, you know? Anyways, let me know if you guys have tried these things. What are your thoughts? I definitely plan to use these products more throughout the month, and hopefully in February I will have a speed reviews on pretty much everything I tried this month so you guys can know my in-depth thoughts. But I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.